Maximum perimeter of a right triangle. Now this is such a common question and every time it is asked with different dimensions. So what I have done here is taken a very general case. So the question is, find the maximum perimeter of a right triangle with hypotenuse of k centimeters. So k could be anything, right? Any real number. That's what k is. Now we'll find what is the maximum perimeter of a right triangle like this, right? Now, there are two approaches to this. We can also use Pythagorean theorem and do it. Treat k as a constant and x and y as variables. The other one, which we are going to do now, is use trigonometry. So let us say this angle is theta for us. If this angle is theta for us, then how can I write x and y in terms of k? That is the question, right? So, you know, what is cos of theta? Cos of theta is equals to x over k, right? x over k. And therefore, x is equals to k times cos theta, right? Similarly, what is sine of theta? Now, sine of theta is equals to y over k. And therefore, we can write y equals to k times sine theta, right? So, we got a relation between x and y, correct? Now, how to relate these two things together okay one more thing which we should consider is that this angle for a right triangle this is 90 degrees right so this angle what is the limit what values can theta can take right so theta we can take as from 0 to 90 degrees. So we should actually write pi by 2, right? Since when we are doing with trigonometry, we always consider radians, right? So we'll write pi by 2, not 90 degrees, okay? I'm not deleting it, so, but, you know, I mean radians. Okay, so theta could be this. Now to solve this, what we need to find is maximum perimeter. Now perimeter is sum of all these sides. So to maximize perimeter, let's write what perimeter is. So perimeter is equals to k plus x plus y, right? So which is equal to k is a constant plus x, which is k cos theta plus y, which is k sine theta. So that is the perimeter. So we got the perimeter now. Now to and fortunately, we have perimeter only in one variable and that is the angle theta, right? So we can find derivative of this perimeter with respect to theta. So I'll write dp d theta equals to what? So k is a constant which is 0 first and this will be derivative cos theta as minus sine theta. So we can write this as minus k sine theta. And for this third term, it is plus k cos theta. So we get our derivative, which is k sine theta cos theta. Now to maximize the perimeter, we have to find a critical number. So let's find the critical number. To find critical number, what should we do? we have to equate dp d theta as 0, right? So that means p dash equals to 0. That gives us the critical number. So let's equate and figure out what is the value of theta. So we get 0 equals to minus k sine theta plus k cos theta. Now to solve for theta, we can bring this term on this side and then find the value. Right, so we get k, let me write here, k sine theta equals to k cos theta. If I divide, what do I get? I get tan theta equals to 1, right? Let me divide by cos theta and then we get tan theta equals to 1. k and k cancel out. Dividing by cos theta, we get sine theta over cos theta, which is tan theta equals to 1. 
Now when is tan theta equals to 1? When theta is between 0 and pi by 2. So that gives us a value that is theta is equals to 45 degrees. I'm again writing in degrees. I should not be writing here in degrees. So let's forget about this, right? So let's redo. Remember one thing, said so when we are doing derivatives or calculus, we are always working in radians, okay? So we want to say that tan theta is equals to 1 and that implies that theta equals to pi by 4, right? So for pi by 4, dp d theta is going to be 0 and that is going to maximize the perimeter, correct? How much is going to be the perimeter? Let's find that out. So we'll equate pi by 4 in our equation and figure it out, right? So that is, well, we, we do have a critical number, but we haven't really proved that this will really give us maximum perimeter. To find that, we can do two things. One, in the derivative, we can check from either side of pi by 4 whether the function changes from increasing to decreasing or not. Second, we can do second derivative test. So in this particular case, we'll do second derivative test. We had been doing first derivative care for most of the questions. So we have dp d theta here. Let's do second derivative of this. That means d2p d theta square is how much? So we are differentiating the given equation, which is this one. So derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So we get minus k cos theta. And here, derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. So we get minus k sine theta. Now remember one thing. If you are in quadrant 1, sine theta and cosine theta are both positive and k is also positive. Therefore, this is always negative, right? So this value, you can see minus and minus. So this is always negative, right? So this is negative. If second derivative is negative, that means we have a maximum because the concavity of the curve is like this, right? So whenever we have second derivative negative, we know at our critical point, which is pi by 4, we have a maximum. So that ensures maximum at pi by 4, right? So that means we have maximum. So that is second derivative test for maximum. Okay. So we have proved that this is maximum. And how much it is? Well, you can always find the value by placing theta as pi by 4. Let's do that. So perimeter is actually equals to k plus k cos theta. So if it is pi by 4, if theta equals to pi by 4, in that case, you know the ratios of the sides are 1, 1 and square root 2. Right? So cos theta is 1 over square root 2, sin theta is also 1 over square root 2. So we are using this equation, the original equation. That is, or let me write the equation first k, then we have k cos theta plus k sin theta. And here we'll put theta as equals to pi by 4. So we have k plus cos of pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. Same, sin is also 1 over square root 2. So we get k over square root 2 plus k over square root so we can combine all these terms and get our answer. So if we take square root 2 as common denominator, so here we get 2 plus square root 2. So we get square root 2 plus k plus k, which is 2k. I mean, within brackets, right? So k is a common factor. So that is kind of our answer. We should not write like this. We'll multiply by square root 2 so that we rationalize it, right? So once we rationalize this, we get our answer. So if I rationalize, that means multiplying by square root 2 and dividing by square root 2. So if you multiply by square root 2, this will be 2. And this term will be 2 square root 2. 
So let me write this as 2 plus 2 square root 2 times k over 2. So now 2, 2 will cancel. So we get k times 1 plus square root 2. So that is what we will get, get our answer. So the parameter is, let me push the page a bit forward. I was trying to avoid, you know, that. But let, let's now put it. So we get what? We get k common and 1 plus square root 2. 1 plus square root 2. That is our answer. So parameter, the maximum parameter will be, in this case, maximum parameter will be k times 1 plus square root 2. So that is going to be the answer. So for any particular value of k, you can substitute that. If k is less than 100, then it be 100 times 1 plus square root 2. Correct? So I'd like you to go through this solution once again. Uh, so And then check your answer, whatever we did kind of irrationalize it, it here. Well, in many cases, what we do is, to avoid this rationalization, we take these sides as square root 2 and square root 2. In that case, this side becomes 2. So you avoid that rationalization, right? So we'll write cos theta as square root 2 over 2. Then, then it'll be like straightforward. Anyway, so I hope you understand the method. What we did really was, Parameter is sum of sides, so simple as that. So it is k plus x plus y. We just wrote x in terms of k cos of theta, y in terms of k sine of theta. And then found the derivative. Since this equation was in terms of theta, so we have perimeter as a function of theta here, right? So we found a derivative here, that is p dash theta. Equated to zero to get the critical number critical number was 45 degrees for us and then we found the solution okay so that's how it is to be done thank you